Hey everyone, this is Alana with Fidget Haven Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Full Size Compass by Zero Feud. Now before we begin, I do want to say a quick thank you to all of my subscribers and followers for both the patience that you've given me throughout my hiatus and the wonderfully kind and supportive messages that I've received. Um, for those of you who don't follow me on the Fidget Haven Reviews um, Facebook page, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You may have been scratching your head wondering where I've been. Um, I do recommend joining the Facebook page because it will give you the latest news and updates, additional pictures, um, polls to see what you guys want me to review next. Uh, it's a good resource just for kind of staying in the know with Fidget Haven Reviews and my spinner news. Um, so the people who are part of the group already know that I've had to take a hiatus for the past couple of weeks. I've been dealing with some health issues stemming from my brain injury. Um, I am not 100%, but I do feel like I'm capable of doing a couple of reviews now. Um, I've missed it. I've missed you guys. So it feels really good to be back. Um, another thing I'm sure you can notice is that I am speaking without a script. Um, many of you have picked up on the fact that I do go off of a script. Um, the biggest reason for that is because I suffer from something called aphasia, which causes me to sometimes say the wrong words or to um, just completely forget a word that I know that I know, um, and it, it causes a big struggle for me. So I am working hard to overcome that. Um, it has gotten a little bit better since I've been doing my video reviews. So if I do mess up, um, again, I, I hope that you will be patient with me, uh, and I do appreciate all of the patience and support. Um, because I'm going to be trying to do videos without a script, that means I'm dropping the written part of my review for at least the next little while. Um, the reason for it is that doing both the written review and the video has been a monumental amount of work for me um, and I'm just hoping to lessen my workload by trying to do just the video reviews. So I do hope that you will use the comment section below to let me know what you think of unscripted versus scripted. I know a lot of you like it, um, but I've never done an actual review unscripted. I've only done tutorials. So please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it uh, if you prefer me to be scripted, I, I will go back to it, obviously. Um, so on that note, I will start the review. So again, this is the Full Size Compass by Zero Feud. This one is stainless steel, and it has this really cool machine finish. Um, I've seen a similar finish to this on several different spinners, and I really like it. I'm quite partial to it. I know that, that some people think that it looks cheap, but I really like the way that the light plays on it. I don't find that it makes much of a difference when it's spinning, but when it's still, I don't know, there's just something pretty cool about it. Um, the buttons are also made of stainless steel, and underneath sits a hybrid ceramic R188 bearing that's held in place using adhesive. Um, the length of it is just a hair under 2.5 inches, and it came up to 73.95 grams on my scale, including the buttons. Um, as far as comfort goes, I would I, I feel neither here nor there with it. It's it's not the most comfortable spinner. It's not the most uncomfortable spinner. It's just kind of average. There really aren't um, many hot spots on it. Depending on how you spin, you may find these raised edges to be a little bit rougher um, than you'd like. But overall, it's not really a problem. And I don't find that my my fingers come into contact with the corners here, which would be the only other part you may consider a hot spot. Um, I find it most comfortable to pull down from the face, though flicking is very easy. Um, flicking upward because of these uh, raised parts does cause a tiny bit of sensitivity um, at my cuticle or nail bed. Um, so I find that I tend to mostly pull it from the face. The buttons are made of stainless steel, as I mentioned. They have a diameter of 22 millimeters and they are threaded. They have a set screw underneath. Um, they are a mix of concave and flat. The outer edge is concave and the center part is flat. There's another little drop down towards the center um, and another flat portion. And I find that that adds to um, the grippiness of it. They're not the most comfortable buttons. They're not uncomfortable buttons. They're just not my favorite, but they do a great job. 
Um, the bearing is a, let me see if I can get this to focus, is a 10 ball hybrid ceramic R188 and it's held in place using adhesive. Um, I find that, as, I mean, as far as spinners go, it's it's a smooth enough um, bearing. I don't I don't have extra judder. I mean, I have judder from the fact that it's a bar, but I don't have any extra unpleasant vibrations while it's spinning. Um, I do like the feedback that it has when it's perfectly still, but with all bars, it does have torque when you move it from horizontal to vertical. Um, that is not my favorite thing about it. I, you know, bars are not my favorite. Tri spinners or anything with additional arms uh, tend to be my go-to. Although I have found that lately I've been kind of leaning not not more to board bars as preference, but I have been picking up some some additional bars and I guess kind of testing the waters to see how I feel. Um, I would say for me this is about average in terms of bars. Um, the judder and the sound that it makes when it's turning isn't my favorite. Uh, it is a quiet bearing. Uh, as I said, it is fairly smooth. So I'm happy with the bearing as it is. Um, I did three spend time tests. I did it all after it's been cleaned. Um, I'm gonna give you all three of the times and the average. I want you guys to let me know if you would, if you want me to continue with giving you all three times or if you'd rather me just give you an average in the future. Um, so for my first two-handed table spin, my time was uh, three minutes and 53 seconds. For my second two-handed table spin, it was three minutes and 42 seconds. And for my third two-handed table spin, it was four minutes and four seconds. So that gives me an average of three minutes and 53 seconds per clean spin. Uh, I think that that is perfectly adequate. I know that there are bearings and spinners that go longer, but spin, you know, spin times really don't matter. Um, but if, if you're using that as a, as a you know, a, what's the word that I'm looking for? A marker, I suppose, of how good the bearing is. It is, um, it is a great bearing. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing it at all. Um, overall, it's, it's an average bar spinner. Is it worth the hype that it has? Uh, in my opinion, no. If it's bought directly from Zero Feud, the price isn't astronomical. It's not bad, but to pay for, for it on the second market would be absolutely ridiculous. Um, I really don't find that it's worth those prices. Now, I haven't tried one of their um, tri spinners, so I really don't know anything about those. But as far as the bar spinners, I mean, if you love bar spinners, maybe, but but there are other bar spinners that are less expensive that I think personally feel better. Um, so if someone were to ask me, is the Zero Feud Compass worth the hype? I would say it's it's not, sorry. Um, it is comfortable enough, it's quiet enough, it's not silence as I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, it's good for both concentration and distraction. Uh, I wouldn't want to use this in a meeting, but it is very flickable and fidgety, um, and it can be used pretty mindlessly. Uh, so once again, this is the Stainless Steel Compass, Full Compass by Zero Few. Uh, I am Alana with Fidget Haven Reviews. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to post them in the comment section below. I'm always, always, always happy to, to hear from you guys. And remember, I would love to hear from you, your thoughts on scripted versus unscripted, uh, you know, three times versus average time. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always happy to hear feedback from you guys. Um, so I will post a, a link in the description, both to where you can purchase this, but they are always sold out. Um, I would recommend joining the Zero Feud uh, Facebook group to get the latest up-to-date information on when their drops are because they aren't um, they aren't on a schedule. They're varied pretty much whenever uh, Rick has some available. He's a one-man show um, and on that I, I have to give him kudos. He does a lot of hard work. Um, these are very hard to come by um, so I would recommend joining his Facebook group. I'll put a link to that as well. Um, I'm not going to have a written review, but I will put a link in the description to photos that I'm going to be taking of this. Um, and yeah, that about covers it. I will be doing a spin time test after this. So if you are done watching, I really greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I do hope to get some here feedback from you guys. Um, and I hope that you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Thanks for watching.